Sorry. I've been around this white brown land, seen a thing or two. From Grand Out back on the beaten track, let me share it now with you. Oh, dude. <laughs> All Aussie adventures, pack up your swag, let's go. All Aussie adventures. All Aussie adventures, time to hit the road. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. We are commandeering your car for special military purposes. We will crash it into a tree and leave it a hundred meters down the road. Uh, who's the designated driver here? Oh, he's stuck. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh no! No! Okay. Gotcha. Water. It's a valuable resource out here in the outback. Group up, man. Group up. Bro, we just killed a goddamn ghost squad on extreme. Just came out unscathed, man. These guys ain't so tough. Look, look at me, World War One trench cap, man. Look like I've just come out of fighting in the French Resistance or some shit. Take lefty, you take righty. Three, two, one. Great stuff. An amphibious boat like this is a top way of checking out some special sites. And these happy holiday makers were enjoying the ride of their life. Courtesy of Rear Admiral Mercator. And I tell you what, there's nothing like going off the beaten track. Behemoth Defense Area. There's the big boy. Yeah, 
go for burn. Yeah, let's do it. Taking red beret, then we're gonna hit the two guys at the gate. Three, two, one. We could have dangled our lines all day. But as the sun was getting low, it was time for me and my marsupial mate to hit the road. Twilight time is danger time. See how this goes. Perfect. That's a big friggin' generator! Runs everything around here! There's a big guy directly behind. We could take him out, maybe. Both hit a headshot. It's risky. We're gonna take him out of action. Alright, here's the plan. We wait for him to uh, walk down to the end of the pier. Turn around. Continue his patrol. I'll take out the guy behind him. And then we'll both land headshots on him with a clear line of sight. Three, two, one. You're really making me nervous. There'll be a guy close by around here. Should take him out and then we'll be clear. With that little fella tagged and released back into the wild, it was time for me to hit the road. And what a road. This is the Mitchell Track, named after the bloke who first opened up this area, Mitchell Track. Damn. 
We are getting way more efficient at taking those squads out. Ready to go loud. Get down! Let's get in this bad boy. Luckily, I was given the all clear at the local bush hospital, and it was soon time to hit the road again. You know, when people think of the Aussie Outback, they generally think of one thing. But if you ask me, there's a lot more to the place than just that. I made a uh, little purchase. It was 100% worth saving for. Right. 55,000. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> I believe so, yeah. Oh wait, there's the camp valley right next, right under it. Are you guys going to Behemoth? Um, hang on, I'm just working that out. Yep, yeah, let's. I'm uh, not fit to be a pilot. <laughs> but all too soon it was time to hit the wall, heading for the outer barrier reef. We were on board my old mate Mike Denning's boat, the Wake. Mike needed someone to help him locate and explore a new dive site about 10 miles off the coast. And who did he ask? Yours truly. Me. It took a bit of finding, but eventually we found the spot. You know, a lot of city slickers come up here in their glass bottom boats, but for mine, the only way to see the Great Barrier Reef is from under the water. Let's go do that now.